quick, simple how-to video on replacing a rear view mirror. You can see this baby's popped right here. Uh, the glass broke, but it has these components behind it, so um, some of these things broke as well. So I can't really just replace the glass. My wife was backing up and hitting my deer gambrel right there, um, hanging up, so she got too close. But this is such a small fix. <clears throat> you can pop this insert off, just kind of wiggle that off. And you can see I purchased this used from eBay. It was a 120 bucks off of a similar vehicle. And it's so simple to replace. There's one plug in and three screws. So here are my three nuts right here. I'm gonna back those out. This is my plug in, I unplugged. And then once I back it out, I can pop this in, plug it, screw it in, and we're back to good. So if this has happened to you and you're looking for a quick fix, buy a used mirror, 120, 140 bucks, and you can do it yourself. These things don't work. And I can't find my socket wrenches. So I'm gonna use this little crescent wrench. Not having my socket wrenches were not bad because once you break them, you can just get them with your hand right here. Again, this is a quick, simple fix. I recommend anybody to do it. You don't even take need to take it to the dealership. Uh, I wouldn't drop that in there. Let me see. Hopefully I don't, because you do not want to take off the door panel. I recommend this one right here. There's another one. Almost did it. <laughs> right here and I'm going to be very careful with this one because I do not want to drop it so I'm going to slow keep my fingers firmly around it sorry again I'm just trying, trying to drop it there we go perfect so drop that and then the old one, let me see. Oh, cause I picked it back. This should pop out. See, you can see she broke it up. This is what my wife did. I don't know why I feel the need. Oh, I can tell you. You gotta, has a little gasket right here and this is holding it in. So I'm gonna actually break these loose cause I don't need it anymore. I think it's made for that too. So I'm gonna break this and then I can pop it out. Just so you know what I did is I grabbed the little small pliers, squeezed them. I got them past this wall. And now, there you go. That's how easy this is. Destroyed, no good. Hence the droppage. And now I can tell, look, this one that's that I bought actually had had one of them broken. That's okay. It has one on the back. Um, so this will pop in. Let me take this zip tie out, but it'll pop in. And then once I screw it and plug it, we're good to go. And just so you know, you can, this isn't clean. I don't care. It does match. This cat matches my car right here. And you can, this is that little uh, exp, um, little thing that people buy at AutoZone to put it on there to help broaden your view. Uh, I, I may pop that off. I don't know. My wife said keep it. But I'm going to go ahead and pop this in there. Lines up perfectly. I'm going to put this down while I do this. Fits like a glove. I believe the 2010 or 9 to 16 are all the same. So that's beneficial for buying replacement parts. Without having both of these holding it in, it's a little precarious. Um, but I'm going to put it down again and get at least one bolt in on this top one. That took me about two seconds. Top one's in. Plug it in. Two more. Replace your cover and you're good to go. 
I can actually see why these two were a little bit looser because of this, it's kind of hard to get a socket wrench in there. So, but I got it pretty much hand tightened uh, with this crescent wrench. Got it plugged in, missing this one little part, but that's not bad. That one's holding. It will be snug. It's not gonna move. Let me pop my cat back on. And this is, you can see these just pop into here. Let me see if I can do this with um, one hand. I'm trying to get lined up so I can hit it. There we go. Now I'm gonna hit it. There you go. All done, guys. That was simple. Super simple. New mirror. All good. I need to clean this up. Uh, wipe that part number off. May rip this off. But all in all, from that to that in under 10 minutes, replacement part. I guess we should make sure it works. Oh yeah, love it. There we go. Thanks for tuning in guys. Every once in a while I'll do a repair, I'll post it. If you like this stuff, subscribe, comment, I appreciate it. A little wax on, wax off.